million American taxpayers' dollars in emergency funding to Egypt. More members of Congress are taking a hard look at the billions of dollars in aid we give to Egypt, Pakistan, and Libya. One is Congressman Ted Poe from Texas. Congressman, thanks so much for being with us this evening. Good evening, Judge. All right, Congressman, uh, talk to us about this emergency cash infusion of $450 million that Egypt needs. Now, tell me if my memory of history is wrong, but wasn't it about two and a half weeks ago that our consulate uh, uh, was infringed upon in Egypt and they didn't really uh, make sure that that didn't happen? That's correct. Uh, the Egyptians are not uh, working with the United States to protect American interests. Uh, especially our personnel, our embassy in uh, Egypt. Uh, they want some money from the United States. It's interesting enough, 82% of Egyptians surveyed say they don't like Americans. So we're paying a country to get, we're going to give a country money. We don't know what's going to happen to it. Let's not give them any money. Let's hold back and uh, that really a billion and a half dollars. Uh, we don't need to continue to pay these countries to hate us. You know, Egypt will do it for free and some of these others. So American taxpayer money going to these countries all over the world where there's unrest, where they hate Americans, where they destroy our, our property and kill our ambassador. Not so fast anymore. It's time to stop. But, but Congressman, it's my understanding that this week, I mean, there was some emergency funding that was approved that it was uh, um, that there are many people in Congress who don't object to this. Why? How do they go back to their constituents who are out of work, out of jobs, hurting and and, and legitimately say, well, you know, we have to send money to Pakistan, Libya and Egypt. What do they base it on? These are guys and women you work with every day. What are they saying? Well, I don't know why they continue to vote to give money to countries uh, like Egypt, and especially Pakistan, uh, who uh, uh, hid Osama bin Laden, who took the informant from Pakistan and put in for working with us. Uh, well, they work with the Chinese, but yet some members of Congress think this old philosophy, well, if we pay them some money, they may be nice to us. Well, that's not going too well for us All in the right. Middle East and, and with Pakistan. And, you know, Congressman, I'm going to throw up a uh, sound that we have here from one of those Congress people who thinks that it's appropriate. Oh, no, actually, it's State Department spokesperson, Victoria Newland. We are continuing to work with the Hill on the support that we think is important to support those very forces of moderation, change, democracy, openness uh, in Egypt that are very important for defeating um, extremism of the kind that we saw. All right, Congressman Post, six days after the attack in Benghazi and after the uh uh, 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 the attack at the Egyptian uh, consulate uh, or embassy. What do you think? What's your reaction? It, we couldn't be doing anything worse than giving these countries money. But yet the State Department believes if we just keep giving them money, they will like us and they will do what we want them to do, so to speak, in foreign affairs. It isn't working. It hasn't worked for years. It's time for us to quit spending money in these countries uh, that really don't like us, that hate us, Keep the money in the United States for all the reasons that we need it here and uh, have a different philo uh, uh, philosophy when we deal with foreign countries. We give foreign aid, foreign assistance to 158 countries out of 191. Maybe we wow. shouldn't be doing that. All right. Congressman Poe, let's switch gears for a minute. This week, the Twitter accounts of a few members of Congress were hacked, like Congressman Mark Kritz of Pennsylvania, who found his Twitter account urging his followers to lose 30 pounds in a month with a diet pill. But it goes deeper than just spam. In fact, you wrote a letter to the FBI this week. Tell us about it. The, there are foreign terrorist organizations designated by such uh, with states, Hamas, uh, Al-Shabaab, uh, and uh, others, Hezbollah, that use Twitter accounts to recruit, to promote violence against Americans and against American interests. They, have, they are using those accounts constantly. This is an American company, and uh, several of us have asked the FBI, maybe we should take down these accounts and not let foreign terrorist organizations use this American account. We can do so. The law allows us to do so because they are foreign terrorist organizations. Uh, we've written the FBI a letter wanting to know why these people can recruit using an American company. Did and the we're FBI still waiting answer for you, response. Congressman? Did they answer you, the <laughs> FBI? 
No, they haven't. They haven't answered us yet, but we will stay on it till they give us an answer while they allow these accounts to exist uh, where they recruit people to, uh, to murder us. And, 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 Congressman, is it true that they're actually tweeting news flashes from uh, the jihadist uh, fronts on Twitter? Yes. Of course, they use Twitter just like anybody else, and it's an update, a constant update of what they're doing, what other organizations are doing, and also promoting violence against the United States, Americans and specifically. And uh, the FBI needs to look into this. They can take down these accounts. We would hope that they would. All right. Uh, Congressman Poe from uh, Texas joining us from Houston. Thanks so much, and stay on that one. That's